The title of this module is Features of Print, and it will focus on the features of a sentence for first grade. Features of a sentence. Students need to recognize first word, capitalization, and ending punctuation in a sentence. This knowledge will aid them in their reading fluency and expression. The objective of this lesson will be to review the features of the sentence and practice. Students will apply their knowledge of sentence features by comparing correct sentences with incorrect sentences. This will then lead to putting a cut-up sentence in correct order using sentence features as a guide. This lesson will follow a gradual release model, and we will start with the teacher modeling, I do it, lead into small group guided instruction, we do it, and finally end with collaborative, you do it together, where students will work in partnerships. This lesson using comparing a correct to incorrect sentence also is based on the work of Jeff Anderson. The length of this support lesson is 15 minutes. This assumes that your students already have knowledge of basic sentence parts. They also know how to set up and read short sentences. Materials needed include familiar mentor text sentence excerpts, flat surface to work on to manipulate the sentence parts, sentences that have been pre-written and cut up, dry erase or chart paper markers depending on what kind of board you're using, post-its, an anchor chart about sentences emphasizing whatever features you want to emphasize in this lesson, and chart paper. You'll start by reading a sentence from the mentor text as is, showcasing the sentence features. Display or create the anchor chart, including definitions of these features and discuss and point out what the sentence had. Repeat another brief mentor text sentence. Teachers should, using different color markers, highlight the features of the sentence on the chart paper. This color coding will help the students by giving them a visual clue and also letting them know that the chart is there for them to use when they are stuck. Some examples of text you might use. This is an ex excerpt from Happy Birthday to You by Dr. Seuss, a book that is previously read in a Mesa lesson. You might show the author example. You might be a bag of hard green tomatoes. And then, after the students examine, show an altered example. You might be a bag of hard green tomatoes. Obviously, in the altered example, the pu end punctuation is missing, which we would want the students to notice and point out, and us as a teacher will be modeling. So the teacher modeling portion includes reading the sentence correctly and out loud, then letting students examine it, then showing the same sentence with one feature missing, model for the students how to figure out what is missing, and make sure to refer to your sentence feature anchor chart then discuss how you can fix it. Teachers should model reading and examining the sentence. Use additional sentences as you, are, as you feel they are needed to model based on the understanding of the initial example. When students seem to grasp the work, it will then be time for us to move into pairs. During the active engagement portion, the students will work in pairs examining a correct sentence, then studying an incorrect sentence to find the missing feature. The students can tell the teacher either orally or by writing the correction on the sentence strip what the error is. Before we do the formative assessment piece and release the students back into the reading workshop, we want to link. Readers, as you read in your books today, I want you to look for sentences you can share with our group tomorrow. Make sure you are able to point out the features to us. Then give each student a post-it to use in their book. During the formative assessment portion, you will hand each student a sentence that has been cut up into words. Have the student put the sentence in order, then point out and name the features to you. There are some additional modifications you can make to this lesson in case you have students who need extra practice or if you have students that are ready to extend their knowledge. You can repeat the lesson using additional mentor text sentences, extend the partnership time for students who are not ready to work alone, have students collect and discuss interesting sentences from their own books, use more complicated sentences or have more than one error in the incorrect sentence for students to find. Or you may also find after the formative assessment that a punctuation or capitalization mini lesson is needed. 
There are several additional resources on the lesson page, but there are MESA units sessions that focus on punctuation and pointing word to word, as well as capitalization. There's also a great capitalization tune to teach students to keep in mind the rules. There's a punctuation practice website and a building a sentence website. These can be used for practice or extension. The anchor standard this lesson focused on was recognizing the distinguishing features of a sentence. First word, capitalization, ending punctuation.